Hello and welcome to this episode of Peak Life. Today we're talking all things economic development with the newest member of the team, Curtis Colbert. Thank you so much for being here, Curtis. Thank you, thank you for having me. So you are fresh on the staff and you've worked all over the place mm -hmm. as far as economic development, formerly even Richmond. Um, Henrico, uh, okay. Virginia Beach, and um, Hampton. And you finally climbed the ladder <laughs> to get here yeah. in Chesapeake. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the difference. You know, what is so wonderful about Chesapeake that draw you to, drew you to here? I mean, it's it's kind of going back to the saying of um, the cares, Chesapeake cares. Yeah. It's it's you can really feel a, a sense of um, of welcoming family um, mm -hmm. when you come into the city. Um, I know the department is not, it's nothing short of great. Everybody's been great um, to work with. So it's it's a, uh, it's a it's a nice feeling to be in a place that's so nice. Well, we're really excited to have you. Now, do you feel like that, you know, our motto of the city that cares, do you feel like that translates to the big businesses that you guys are, you know, trying to bring in here? Do you think that makes a difference? Yeah, absolutely. We care about all of our businesses here. Um, whether it's a small, large, medium, we um, you try to give all of our businesses the type of um, care that they should. Um, deserve here. Um, we do a lot of um, business retention calls. We are um, mm -hmm. going out to meet with the businesses, kind of trying to figure out what their um, issues are, trying to resolve them. Um, so we, it, it doesn't matter the size of the business. We're definitely going to try to, you know, um, take care of them. I love that. I feel like that, that, you know, idea that the city that cares kind of penetrates all levels here at the city, which really, really says something. So um, you, in addition to you being new, mm -hmm. you guys have some new branding coming out. Yes. Which is always, ex I know it's super exciting for us, like inside <laughs> business, but it's kind of cool for everybody mm -hmm. outside to, to see it too. So tell me about this new branding effort. So we, um, we launched a new brand back in probably the end of January, okay. we'll, we'll say. Mm -hmm. um, we have a new saying, kind of fi find your way forward. Um, we want to love that. We want to kind of just let the business community know that we're here. Yeah. We're going to help you grow. We're going to help you expand. We're going to help you find your employees. We're going to help you, you know, become the best business that you can. So um, that's what our brand is kind of built around. It's kind of just saying, hey, we are here for the business community. Let us help you. Let us know what we you need, and we can we can help. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know, the past year was a struggle for mm -hmm. everybody, but we're getting out of it. We're looking, we're moving forward. Um, what does the future look like here in Chesapeake? You know, are you feeling like things are getting back to normal? Are you guys able to start, you know, yeah. going and doing more? Yeah, we've talked with a lot of businesses and they're ready to start going. Um, yeah. It's, you know, it, being in a pandemic for almost a year and a half now, yeah. you're, you know, businesses are kind of antsy and getting ready to go. and. From the businesses that we've talked to, everyone's ready. Um, they're ready to kind of, you know, ramp up uh, employee, uh, not employee, um, uh, hiring. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And ramp up their, you know, sales and everything like that. So the business community is ready. Um, and, you know, we're, we're looking forward to seeing what that's going to come up. To. Yeah, it's time to start get going. I'm yeah. ready. I'm yeah, absolutely. ready. Let's, absolutely. Let's keep moving forward. Again, I love, I love tell me your slogan, your, the new slogan again. It's find your way forward. Find your way forward. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for all of the, let's let's just call them the average folks mm -hmm. watching, the me's watching, you know, I'm not, I don't have any direct involvement. I'm a Chesapeake resident. I don't really know what kind of big businesses y'all are trying to bring in. Mm -hmm. Why should I care that we have a really good um, economic development department? So economic development um, helps bring businesses into the uh, community and also helps the existing business, businesses within the community. Mm -hmm. um, and by helping those businesses and growing the tax base, mm -hmm. um, we are able to kind of keep taxes low. We're able to help um, fund different pro uh, projects within the city. So uh, having a good economic development department will help the city in turn grow and, you know, um, be able to do more things uh, to kind of serve the citizens in different ways. Well, it's really exciting to watch. I mean, Chesapeake now has a, you know, high, I don't, I don't know if we call it a skyscraper, but, you know, Dollar mm. Tree over there. Yeah. We finally have a tall building. I, I'm so <laughs> excited about that. You know, yeah. it's fun to watch Chesapeake continue to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm so glad that we have you and everybody else at Economic Development to kind of help us uh, wade through all the new stuff. Anything else you wanted to share with us? This was some great info. Um, so I'll share that we have been doing the small business grant for um, the uh, Chesapeake businesses here. That's right. Um, we've um, awarded a little more than 350 um, uh, different applica applicants. Wow. Um, over $2.5 million. Um, all of this can be found on our annual report on our website. Mm -hmm. um, so it's you know, we, we really care about the business community. We've tried to, um, throughout the pandemic, find ways to help them grow, find ways to keep them open, find ways to, you know, 
help them struggle, uh, well, help them through the struggle of yeah. the pandemic. So, um, you know, we're here. If you ever need anything, go to our website. You can see our phone number. You can email us. We'll, we're here. How has that been for you? Have you gotten to interact with some of these businesses oh, yeah. who have benefited? Yeah. And it, I mean, it's, it's great to actually get to talk to some of these people um, yeah. and hear their stories. And um, it, it's really rewarding to you know, see them be so grateful for you know, what we can do for them and you know, that we're able to help them stay open. You know, there are a lot of yeah. them that you know, when we give them the check, they're like, you know, this is the only way that I would have stayed open. This is wow. the only way that I would have been able to keep my employees. Um, one lady was so excited. She was just like, hey, I got to give you a tour of the office. And I was like, I, I don't need this. She was oh. like, no, no, I got to take you around. Like, I, I got to take you around. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's rewarding to be able to talk to the businesses and kind of, you know, see exactly uh, what they do. Because a lot of times you see a business and you're like, that name, I have no idea what they're doing. Mm -hmm. there. But now we're going in and talking to people we normally probably wouldn't talk to um, yeah. on a daily basis. So um, putting a face to a name and letting them know we're here. So. Well, you're part of the team now, Curtis. Yes. You are in this community. You're one of us, and we're so glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the continued information. We'll yeah. point people to your website, Curtis Covert with the Economic Development Department. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, that does it for this edition of Peak Life. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.